What's up guys, DVFs here. Today I'll be showing you how to record your screen using OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a free software that allows you to stream and also record your screen. So firstly, you just want to go to obsproject.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And then just click on download OBS Studio. And then just choose your operating system. So I'm on Windows, so I'll choose that. Now once you have it downloaded and installed, just click on settings. And then just click on stream. And then just click on output. So the output mode, make sure that it's simple. And for the video bitrate, I left it at 2500. You can change this if you want. If you have a high-end laptop or PC, you can change it to like 5000 or 6000. And then you can just change the recording path. So for example, I'll just change it to desktop. And then you click on select folder. And for the recording quality, just keep it same as stream. For the recording format, make sure that it's MP4 because that's widely supported. Now click on video. Now in the first one, you can just choose your resolution. So if you have like a 4K monitor, you can change different settings. But for me, it's a laptop, so it won't come up with anything. And then the output scaled resolution, make it as close to the base resolution as you can. So for me, it's 1364 by 768. And now for the FPS, leave it at 30. If you're doing like gaming stuff, or if you just want to record in 60 FPS, you can also change that. But I'll leave it at 30. And then once you've done everything, you just click on apply. And then OK. Now just go over to scenes and click on the plus button. And then you can just give your scene a name. I'll just name it scene 1. And then for the source here, just click on the plus button again. And then now we want to select display capture. And I'll just name this display capture and then click on OK. Now it's going to ask which display you want. So for me, I only have one display. So I'll just click on that and then click on OK. Now if you want to add anything else like an image or maybe some text, you can also add that. But I don't want to add anything else. Now you can go to the mixer and then it will show up with your mic. You can change how loud you want your mic or your desktop audio to be. So if I want to mute my mic, I'll just drag it all the way to the end. And the same thing goes for my desktop audio. Now if I want to change the mic, I can just click on this settings icon here. And then click on properties. And for the device, I can just change it. And then click on OK. And now that's all you have to do. Just click on start recording and then it will start recording. That's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let's see if you can hit several likes to this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.